So let me present you the Polaroid 230, which is an automatic uh, Polaroid land camera uh, that uses um, pack film, like uh, this uh, F300C uh, uh, pack film uh, from uh, Fuji. And um, I was lucky enough that somebody gave me a, a full uh, five, plus, uh, 5 plus 1 pack. So I've got six packs like that, that I'm going to use in that camera. So let's open it. Now you have to lift here to open that. And you can push here to remove that part. And you've got uh, that big camera. Uh, to open it, you just push here on the top. And it allows to open the folding. OK? Um, then you can put that here, there's this little, little magnet that holds it in place and you've got that big camera that takes uh, a pack film and is fully automatic. <coughs> uh, it uses a battery that does not exist anymore, uh, that kind of uh, battery uh, with two, two sides, uh, which is a 4.5 battery. And um, I changed it to use it free uh, triple A's battery with, uh, with a little uh, modification that I show in another video. I show you the, the results. Uh, so my construction that you can see in uh, that video that I will put here. And then I can, uh, yeah, I can, uh, you can cock the shutter here and shoot pressing the button. Okay. So to focus, um, you've got the option of doing zone focusing. Uh, when you focus, you you move uh, that from side to side, and you see it moves uh, the the folding uh, from uh, forwards backwards. So if I put that in front of the landscape here, it's for landscape. If I put it here as zone focus, it's for uh, people at mid range, and here it's for portrait. Okay. If you want to be more precise, you've got a, a telemeter here, so you just have to look inside here. This is for composing, this is for the telemeter. So if you look inside, you will have two, uh, two figures if it's not in focus and you can, uh, you can put them together to get the focus like any uh, telemeter. Uh, the only drawback is that it uses different, uh, different uh, viewers, one for composing and one for telemeter, but you get used to it and uh, you don't shoot like mad with that kind of film anyway, so you take your time. Um, you can select the sensitivity here, so either 75, 150 or 3000 because they are very high sensitive film, the 3000 and they, I think they had 65 and 150. I selected that for uh, the FP100C. I will see if it's better with 150 or 75. I will start it with, uh, with that. And you can... Uh, yeah, you can uh, either darken or lighten the, 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 the picture with that uh, little uh, ring. So I put a bit darker because I am overexposing a bit. I just imagine I can compensate a bit with using that. So this is the part what, uh, which the light meter is using to, to select the shutter speed. And uh, we're going to, to test that. When you want to close it, you press here to close loop and it liberates the, the the folding so you can put it together here put that in back and when you want to have the front back just put it here and close right okay now i show you where the battery is where the film is is behind that compartment here Black. And you access uh, to the folding. Uh, it's a good advice to to um, uh, do some cleaning of the rollers because the principle of the the film is you insert a pack. Also, I've got a an old pack here. I can show you. You insert a pack like that here, and then you 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 have a a, a tap which is goes goes out. And um, each time you, you take a picture, you have to uh, drag your picture. It goes through the rollers here and uh, it squashes some uh, chemicals 
on top of the picture to 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 give the the reaction and uh, pro give the, the the picture. So you have to clean them. To clean them, you can drag that here, take the roller out, and uh, you wipe them with alcohol so that they they are clean. Right. So about the pack film. <coughs> It's uh, sensitive to temperature, so for example, if it's very hot day, 35 degree, it develops in only 60 seconds. If it's a 25, uh, a 20 degree, uh, if it's 20 degree outside, it's under 20 seconds, two minutes, and um, uh, if it's 10 degrees, it's 270 seconds. So it's very sensitive to temperature. Okay, so if you want to develop it, it's best to develop it when it's not too cold. Um, otherwise it takes some more time okay it's not too hard to go over the time for development but um, certainly not under so if it's 20 degrees and you develop it uh, in 60 seconds is the results are going to be bad um, if instead of 120 seconds you go a bit over uh, 280 seconds it's not that uh, of a problem I mean it's really the, the the minimum time of development which is written here okay <laughs> Expiration date ten two thousand five. Okay. So once you, you remove that, that first black sheet, uh, you get access to the first uh, piece of paper here that you have to, to, to hold to get access to the first photo. So let's do that. Okay. So now, photo number one is uh, ready to shoot. So I will take a photo of my solar panels. Uh, with my one camera and uh, then we'll make the development it's a pretty hot uh, day today so it states I would uh, need to use uh, 90 second uh, development time So now we have to wait for 90 seconds to uh, develop the, the, the photo. Uh, hopefully it will work. Of course you can do that outside each time you're taking your photo out and you develop it. But I'm just coming back here because it's more convenient for me for, for shooting the video. So here is the result. So it's a, it's a bit pale, I think. Um, it was a bit contrasty, so it's coming. It could come out a bit better in in some uh, in some other um, photos. So that's the way I, the kind of photo I took. It was very contrasty, so that way it goes like that. But it's still fine. I mean, it's uh, you have some parts missing. Sometimes does that with old. Um, uh, stock because uh, the all is not rolled over uh, um, evenly, but uh, but it's a unique picture. I mean, you get only one, and and, and uh, it's it's a unique picture. So I did that as a test. I wouldn't recommend to use Polaroid for for um, landscape. I mean, it's great for portraits, and it has it gives some characters and. Uh, uh, it's night photo to keep for um, family photos, portrait shots, things like that. You get also that with all the chemicals. So be careful because I don't want, don't want to touch it too much. But what's interesting is uh, um, behind that there's the negative. So um, you have to use bleach 
to clean it, which is a, a bit of a messy process and, and not very um, okay. Uh, uh, I would say not not very nice for the environment, but anyway, uh, you don't take so many pictures of that kind of film, so once in a while it's okay. And it's good to know that you can keep an original photo and um, the negative that you can scan. So all in all, it's a, it's a nice process. Again. I prefer to use that for, on, for portraits. Um, I don't want to, to show too many uh, uh, portraits on, on my uh, YouTube channel, so that's why I took something which is uh, more anonymous. But um, uh, anyway, I show you how to use it. Uh, you get only 10 pictures in a pack, so it gives you time and you have to think before taking a picture. But uh, they do some nice pictures, I think. Well, bye bye.